Y'all know nothing about this. You need to pay attention. Sit back and relax. It's time for Goodall's Country Kitchen. Down here on Baxter Avenue at Flanagan's Ale House. It's an Irish pub. Uh, I had this place on my list for a while. It's got Eastern High School alumni connections, which I'll get into a little later. But first and foremost, this is Kidney Month, and I'm down here for the fundraiser for Mulligan's Living Kidney Donors. As you see down here, uh, today during lunch and tonight during dinner, they're raising money for uh, kidney transplants. Nothing better cause than for people that need a kidney transplant. By the way, if you're one of those people, look up Mulligan's Living Kidney Donors on Facebook and get into contact with somebody that can help you. All right, so as I said, a lot of Eastern connections here, which I'll get into in a minute. But also another primary reason is it's an Irish pub and they got an Irish menu full of good food, fish and chips. I'm sure I'm gonna get that. Plus they have all the other good Irish things uh bangers and mash and whatever else i'll get more into that when we get inside and let's go on in here and check it out all right food's ordered i want to kind of walk through the place show you around here of course you see it's got a really cool bar then they got another bar that extends into one of the dining rooms here uh old you know, it looks like mahogany woodwork. Could be wrong on that. Got the little side booths. Definitely have the Irish ambience and atmosphere here. Uh, go further on back. I like this old timey tile floor too. Pretty cool. And now this goes out into a really nice patio. And by the way, I bet this place was rocking last Friday for St. Patty's Day, probably all weekend. Look at this, nice cozy atmosphere out here. Got an outdoor bar there. Uh, I think there's some kind of private party room back there that you can rent. Um, or uh, their overflow probably goes back there. And I want to go into this other bar room where they're going to be playing music tonight. Uh, which another Eastern connection, uh, Blackstone Lane, two guys that went to Eastern High School, alumni. They're going to be playing. They're a two-piece uh, outfit, Jeff Lamb and Mark Dickerson. And uh, I remember Jeff Lamb when I was at Eastern. He sang in vaudeville, him and Chris Murray, and he played Dust in the Wind. So if you put a little bread in his guitar case, I bet you you could talk him into playing Dust in the Wind. I think, yeah, that's the bandstand down there, but the lights are turned off, so I can't see down there. There's a dance floor and really cool bar here. Man, this place is huge. And like I've seen three bars, so oh, four bars, including the one on the patio. So they're set up to do some business. I bet there was a lot of green beer poured last weekend. And by the way, I have a new found friend here, John Paul, who reached out to me. He could see I was struggling on my uh, last couple of videos, had my head cut off in one of them. And anyway, he reached out, he felt sorry for me and said, hey, if you need help, I'd be glad to do a little filming and, uh, you know, do a review with you. So I really appreciate John Paul offering to do that. So y'all don't have to see any more amateur videoing with the tripod. All right, going to go back in. Food should be ready by now. And we got some other Eastern connections I got to tell you about. Be back All in just right. a second. The food's here and I'm going to let John Paul go ahead and eat his first. What'd you get there, John Paul? I went with the bangers and mash. Something okay. you don't see on the everyday menu. I mean, pretty common in the Irish community, but... Um, what are bangers? So this has got 
Uh, the bottom layer here is going to be, that's all mashed potatoes. Uh huh. It's got a, a gravy, an Irish gravy on top, mm -hmm. brown gravy, and then it's got, um, I think the bangers are actually the these sausages. You it's an uh, Irish sausage. Yep. And it looks like they got some kind of pretzel bread there on the side, and that gravy. Yeah, so I'm going to try the gravy first. It looks like beef gravy. It like does. brown beef gravy. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. Let's Take a little it. sample, see what you think. Oh, wow. That's very, very, very tasty. I'll tell you what, it looks tasty. Mm. It's rich. You can tell the potatoes are definitely, um, those are mashed in-house. Let's try some of these sausages. And the gravy's good. It's not too salty. It's got a good kick to it. There's some spice in there. Do you mind if I stick my fork in there and just mm -hmm. get a little bite of these mashed potatoes and gravy here? Because mm. I'm all about that mash and gravy. You know, I can't get enough starch. Oh, that sausage's got a good mm. taste. Mm. Let's try this pretzel. That might have scallions in it. That's really good. Mm. So what do you think of the sausage? Is it pretty zesty, yes. spicy? You want to try one? Yeah, sure. Cut me off uh, a little piece. Why don't you try this good old? It's got a good right. case. I like the casing. The casing's unique. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. That's awesome. It's got a nice, it has like, a, I can taste some sage in there. Mm -hmm. That's really tasty. Yeah. All right. We're going to come back in just a second. I'm going to start in on mine. All right. So, Irish pub, you got to get the Irish uh, proverbial fish and chips. Okay. And of course, it wouldn't be Irish if it wasn't batter dipped cod. And that's what I got. And I wish, before I get into this, I wish you'd look at the size of those two cod fillets. There's got to be a pound of fish on there easily. And then, of course, I got the chips and their onion rings. And I got some other things I'm gonna show you later. But I'll tell you what, this these things are so big, I don't think I can handle two pieces on that. And they got their homemade tartar sauce. And whenever you're eating batter dipped fish in an Irish pub, you gotta have that Heinz's malt vinegar. Go ahead and put some of that malt vinegar. Might as well go ahead and do him over there too. All right. And you notice that's uh, rye swirl bread. That's rye with pumpernickel swirl. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. look white and flaky and I know you saw that triple bite technique like the snapping turtle that white flaky fish I bet my bottom dollar that's ice Atlantic cod the flakiness and the whiteness of it which if y'all know about ice Atlantic cod it's in the cold waters of the North Atlantic and they flash freeze it on the boat when it's caught that way it's always fresh by the time it gets to your table. All right. Now, the onion rings, I was told, were very good. And I was told to try their aioli to dip the onion rings, actually. Or wait, this is the beer cheese, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Is that the beer cheese or the aioli? I think this is beer cheese. But I want to dip it in beer cheese. What the hell? Heck. Mm. And spicy mayo. I do know that one. And oh, that spicy mayo is incredible. And it's got a bite to it, too. Wow.
that's the real deal there folks make sure you get a cup of spicy mayo no matter what you order here that's gonna go good with it all right now the creamy coleslaw mayonnaise based that's top-notch also got a slight sweetness not a lot of sugar in it I can't stand a coleslaw that's too sweet but that's good Taste a little onion in there, carrot, cabbage, and it's heavy on the mayonnaise, which actually I like. Some people don't like a lot of mayonnaise in this long, but that's the way I make it. That's the way I prefer it. All right, I'm going to work on this. Be back in just a second, but before we cut here, another little snapping turtle. Mmm, mmm. Be back in just a second. All right, so next item... Of course, you know, we're in an Irish pub, so, and Rubens, everybody knows that follows my channel knows that if there's a Reuben on the menu, more than likely I'm gonna order it. Okay, so of course it's got Thousand Island dressing, the Swiss cheese, corned beef, uh, sauerkraut, okay? And it comes with a, uh, also they gave me some aioli to try, and I'm gonna try the first bite with that. Mm. Of course, it's got that pumpernickel rice swirl. Good amount of corned beef on there. This is a nice, hefty sandwich. Matter of fact, there's enough corned beef on this half than most Rubens I get on the whole sandwich. All right. I got to come back to the spicy mayonnaise. I might have to get some of this to go home. Mmm. Look at that. Nice amount of corned beef on there. And that's quality corned beef too. All right, so I'm gonna work on this and then uh, we're gonna get some, some other footage here and then I'm gonna close out. Be back in just a minute. I got some really special guests out here. We're out here on the patio, and I told you about the Eastern Connection. I'll get to her in just a second, but uh, Leanne Frost Sailor in the middle here, and her husband, Mike Sailor, and their friend, Tim Clark, which the really interesting fact that Leanne's going to touch on here in a second. But Leanne and I were like besties in, at Eastern High School. She was class of 83, and by the way, Class of 83 is going to have their reunion here in June. Uh, Mike went to Trinity, but I'm not going to hold that against him. Tim, where did you go to high school? Trinity 83. Oh, up. my <laughs> gosh. It's live will be a gang fight in here in just a minute. But anyway, Leanne is the CEO, founder, and head spokesperson of Mulligan's Living Kidney Donors. So I want to go ahead. Leanne's got a, a story she's going to tell you about these two guys here, and she's also going to she's going to tell you about what she does and what's going on tonight. And Leanne, go ahead and start wherever you want. Okay. Um, again, my name's Leanne Saylor, and this is my husband Mike Saylor, and this gentleman is Tim Clark. Mm -hmm. They went to Trinity High School together and graduated in '83. My husband was found out. 12 years ago that he needed a kidney transplant to survive mm -hmm. and I put a plea out on Facebook and we had not heard from him in 15 years came forward and donated one of his kidneys to Mike wow Tim I mean that's just that's unbelievable that somebody would make that sacrifice to give up one of their kidneys for somebody that they're not even blood related to well they're blood related now because oh, yeah. they're sharing the kidney over here Mike yes. uh but anyway, yeah, so tell about uh, how people out there that might have uh, a need for a kidney uh, transplant, what they should do. We were so moved. It was such a life-changing experience because I didn't know much about kidney mm -hmm. disease at that time. And actually, it was Tim's idea because we did have a lot of soldiers that were put in our path that guided us. It's a very dark road to walk. Mm -hmm. And Tim actually said because we've got to help other people with this so we didn't know what we were going to do we put one foot in front of the other um 
started calling it Mulligan's Living Kidney Donors because at the time he owned a restaurant called Mulligan's. Mm -hmm. And if you don't know, that's an ultimate second chance on the golf course. So what bigger ultimate second chance is there from what he's done for Mike? So what we do is we mentor people through the process. We've just helped, um, we're over 200 now. Mm -hmm. um, I formed this 10 years ago. 200 uh, transplants. 200 and something. Wow, transplants. that's awesome. Um, we do promote that you can be a living donor. You do not have to be related. Um, blood's not even a factor anymore because they do what's called a paired donor exchange. Mm -hmm. Where if I needed a kidney and I didn't match, or you didn't match me, you could donate one on my behalf and then I would get one and somebody else would get one. Okay, so, that's cool. Now tell me about tonight. I've, I've touched on it. Uh, I told about it coming in. Uh, I told about uh, the proceeds, part of the percentage of proceeds for the checks uh, for lunch and dinner tonight go toward Mulligan's and is there anything that you can add to that i just want to say we are a small nonprofit. um we do run off of donations um most of all of the people that help me are volunteers but we you know we need money to help people with their uh travel expenses because a lot of the transplants are not done here locally so um any money anybody wants to contribute and actually we've we've grown a large group and we have a lot of fun together all right well that's awesome uh, Tim, it's great meeting you, and I commend Thank you again for your sacrifice and help uh, for my man Mike here. I'm sure his three boys are very thankful also for your gift, and uh, I appreciate you all taking the time to talk to me. Now I'm going to go in here. I've still got the second half of my food I've got to eat, so i got to get in there and wrap things up on there. And y'all get at her tonight. Uh, support, like I said earlier, two EHS alums out here playing Blackstone Lane. Mark Dickerson, Jeff Lamb, going to be rocking the house tonight. Get on out here. Might even be able to get you a green beer post St. Patty Day. All right. See you on a little bit. All right. Uh, also, I forgot to mention uh, more Eastern Connection here. Uh, the gentleman that owns this is Drew Boardman. He, he went to Trinity, but his mom... Lisa Lada Sewer went to Eastern with Leanne and I. And by the yeah. way, that name Lisa Lada Sewer. It's a lot of always yeah. Lada Sewer. Okay. Lada Sewer. I always thought that was like the coolest name yeah. when I was in high school. But anyway, her husband Jim Boardman went to Trinity, and ironically, Jim and I played on the same baseball team when I was in the eighth grade. So I've, I've got all kinds of connections to this place. And uh, once again, Leanne. Thank you. Was was Lisa class of 82? Lisa's 82. Jim's 82 at Trinity. I'm 83 at Eastern. You're 84. 84. All right. So, all right. I'm sure you non-Eastern people are getting tired of hearing me talk about the Eastern alums. So I'm going to wrap this segment up. Be right back in a minute. Finish my food. All right. The Eastern connections just keep going on. I uh, got Will Foreman here who works here at uh, Flanagan's. Oh, yeah. So uh, how long you been here, Will? I've been here since uh, I think it's going on two years now. I was serving for about six months and I started bartending. Uh, Justin Brown, give a shout out to him. He also works here, class of 2018, the both of us, along with Molly Goodlett, class of 2018. All three of us bartend along with uh, Jesse Boardman, one of the daughters of the Boardmans who run the restaurant she, she went to eastern also, too didn't yeah, she she did yeah uh, i think she was 2017 or 2018 uh, okay I, I and i remember uh no, molly too goodlett nice. too but, yeah molly molly's been working here too for a while so uh, okay. come see us come say hi if you know me if you know any of the other names then uh gladly serve you or give you whatever you want here all right Absolutely. this place is bleeding blue bleeding with eastern blue high school here, yeah. alums yeah all right i'm gonna try and get to the second half of my food here in just all a right. second so I'm still working on this food, so don't think that I'm punking out and not gonna finish my meal here. But John Paul's got, he's gotta go somewhere, so I'm gonna do my closing right now, even though I'm gonna add more clips. Anyway, everything was great here, top quality, and there's one thing for sure, if you leave here hungry, there's something wrong with you, because I'm probably gonna end up gonna take half that fish home, and probably some of this Reuben too. Everything's great, and these sauces, the aioli, the beer cheese sauce, the hot uh, mayo, spicy mayo, everything's great. If you look around here, you see the omelets. Look at, get that ceiling. Show the ceiling. That's like uh, Victorian era, turn of the century uh, architecture. You see the uh, up in the corners there. This is this building has to be 
130, 140 years old. Anyway, it's got a really great Irish atmosphere, and you definitely want to come out here when the weather's warm, get on that patio. Nice ambience, very cozy, great vibe, and the food is awesome. And with that, y'all don't know nothing about this. Hold up, I'm going to back up. Don't forget about the Mulligans. If you want to uh, come and support the Mulligans Living Kidney Donor Society, make sure to uh, get out here tonight and eat dinner. And y'all don't know nothing about this Flanagan's Ale House. Now you know the facts of why I'm on a mission. You're always welcome back to Good Country Kitchen.